hello guys welcome back in this video we will see what is the difference between graphql and rest so both graphql and rest are used to create or build the apis since both are used to build the apis but these two are totally two different concept and paradigms so in this video we will see how they both are two different concept and paradigms so if someone say replace all the endpoints of rest with the graphql so that is not true if someone says that so that you can understand that this person or that person is not having full knowledge of graphql okay so why i am saying this because rest supports architectural style whereas graphql supports query language what exactly this query language is we will see with some examples or with some practical examples okay so now here we have came to the playground of graphql so this i will share with you in the description okay so here if you see we have one endpoint and here i have given the query countries i want the country and the name of uh, code of the country should be br and i want just the name so i will just hit on this and it has given me all the countries whose code is br now suppose i want the capital name of the country also so i will just give capital so it has given me the capital also of brazil so now i want the currency also i will just give the currency and it has given me the currency also if you see here it is similar to like of our query language like in the database which we use select uh, name of the country uh, select a name capital currency from country where code is equal to br if you see it is similar right but in case of our rest we have an endpoint right so this is an rest example okay this also i will share with you if you see i have given here all it has given me countries list of countries of all okay now suppose i want the country whose name is india so i will just remove this and i will give int so it has given me all the countries whose name is india now suppose i want the country name should be india and its language should be should be hindi then i have to have another endpoint now i want the currency of that country also then in that case i want to have another endpoint so you are seeing for each and everything we need to have a different endpoint whereas in graphql we can have a single endpoint and we can give the query or we can give the request uh, we can give the request whatever response we want so that is the benefit of graphql so that's why it is basically called the query language okay so now we will see another difference so both rest and graphql they both support http methods rest supports get put post delete patch that we all that we all know like we are working on rest from so long okay but graphql only supports post method so now we will see the graphql playground and we will see in the network tab what all uh, you know http method it supports so here is our uh, you know graphql and uh, we will just open the network tab for this okay and uh, we will just change it to uh, we will just make it 125% and uh, here we are just getting the name of name and capital right so i will just remove this i'll click on this uh, send and here if you see it is supporting only post method right whereas we know the rest supports all the method like get put post delete right when we have to get anything we just uh, go for the get method when we have to if we want the uh, you know partial update then we go for the patch in case of rest endpoint right so this is the second difference so in case of rest we get overfetching on underfetching of data so what exactly it means so when we hit this endpoint we are getting all the data right all the data of a country whose name is india i mean who start with the ind so now i just want india right so i don't want whole of this so we can say it is giving us overfetching it is overfetching or giving us over data right so now after getting this we have to create some you know getter setter and we have to fetch the data whatever we need so that is not required we just need the data of name of the country uh, his currency or the you know capital so we don't need all this data if we want all this like currency capital and a city or something then we need to have different endpoints so that way we can say it's a overfetching right but in case of graphql whatever thing we want right if we want the name we can just give it here whatever you want just give it here it will return you the data right no need to have different endpoints correct so this is the benefit of using graphql 
no underfetching or overfetching of data it will give you whatever you want it will give you that response so graphql does server side filtering that's why it is able to give us the response whatever we are requesting for right so that is the benefit of using this uh, graphql it supports server side filtering so now is in case of rest endpoint we had multiple endpoints are there but in case of graphql we have a single endpoint we can in a single endpoint we can just change whatever thing we want it will give us the response after using this server side filtering but in case of rest if i want the name of the country i need to have the different endpoint if i want name uh, based upon the if i want to do filtering based on the name then its city then currency then i need to have a different endpoint right so that is uh, i mean multiple endpoints are there here we are having the single endpoint and rest apis are easier to cache since each resource has a unique url because each url each resource is going to have a unique url so caching is very easy in case of rest endpoints but in case of graphql we are having a single endpoint which can make caching more challenging so that's why caching is more challenging in graphql so there is one more difference that is called versioning versioning is basically required to make the backward compatibility right in case of rest we use the versioning to make the backward compatibility but in case of graphql we can graphql's apis can evolve over time without breaking changes so we don't need the versioning here so this was all about rest and graphql changes if you want some more information on this you can uh, comment me i will surely try to help you out so thank you if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel thank you